Clapton is God. That's what his fans would write on London's walls back in the 1960s. Today he's still considered to be one of the finest guitar players to have ever lived. But how did he do it? Today we're taking a closer look at four of his most iconic songs to find out. Clapton really cemented his reputation as Britain's finest guitar player after he joined and formed the supergroup Cream with Jack Bruce and Ginger Baker. Sunshine of Your Love was one of their finest moments. Cream's most recognizable riffs. Actually Jack Bruce came up with the bass line and Clapton decided to double it and add in triads later to make it sound more full, something you would often do while playing in a trio. It would become one of the best rock and roll guitar riffs of all time. Another really cool detail about this song is that Clapton opens up the guitar solo with a really psychedelic version of the 60s classic Blue Moon. It really works well strange enough in this blue setting and it really adds something to the song. It's so cool. So here's the riff for you guys, but slow down. See if you can spot this one. That's what Clapton told his audience back in 1992 when he first played the acoustic version of Layla. And even though there's nothing left of the original rock riff, the new acoustic version became just as iconic. This is also one of the few songs that Clapton played acoustically with a guitar pick. He usually prefers finger picking. The performance became so legendary that Martin even based their Eric Clapton signature model, like the one I'm holding here, on the old Martin that Clapton was playing on that night. So how did he play it? Here's the riff, slow down. Another one of Cream's most legendary tracks is their high octane version of Robert Johnson's blues classic Crossroad Blues. 
Instead of just playing it as an acoustic blues song, Cream turned it into one of rock's most energetic band performances ever. Especially their 1968 version at the Albert Hall is considered truly breathtaking. Clapton himself loves the song so much he even named his own festival after it, the Crossroads Guitar Festival. But how did he play it back in the day? Here's the riff for you guys, slow down. <laughs> This is another one of the Unplugged album. The song was actually written in 1923 by Jimmy Cox, but of course Clapton gave the song new life and still plays it often today. In this song Clapton uses his distinct but much cleaner version of the original blues finger picking technique. With this technique you combine chordal work as well as a bass line into one guitar part. It's much like Travis picking except that this has a much more swinging feel to it. This is one of my personal favorites, so here it is again for you guys, but slow down. Well that's it for this one, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and we hope to see you back soon at Tone Zone.